Example problem 1.2-2. Problem states, a pin holds two axial members together in what is known as a clevis. If the pin fails in shear at a force of P0 equals 2,500 pounds, what is the average shear stress in the pin when this happens? The diameter of the axial members is 1.5 inches, and the diameter of the pin is 0 0.25 inches. There's a little extra information given in this problem that we don't need. It is the diameter of the axial members. Okay, we have everything we need to solve this problem. Our paper is ready. Given is the information in the problem. And find the average shear stress in the pin under this load, 2,500 pounds. The first thing I'm going to do is find the area of the pin. The area of the pin is 0 0.049 inches squared. The next step is to draw a free body diagram of the pin. I've drawn the free body diagram. The load in the member on the right is 2,500 pounds. It is acting at the center of the pin. The pin then distributes that load over two arms of the clevis. Each of those arms must therefore have a force equal to half of 2,500 pounds for the pin to be in static equilibrium. Okay, I'm going to draw another free body diagram, uh, but this time I'm going to cut the pin at the dotted line at the top here so that I can get the internal result of the load. Acting on the cut surface of this free body diagram is an internal shear force we'll call V. Now, summing our forces in the x direction, we know that V is equal to 1250 pounds. The next step is to calculate my average shear stress in the section. The equation for average shear stress is V, that's the internal shear force over the cross-sectional area, which is 1250 pounds over 0 0.049 inches squared. The average shear stress is 25,460 pounds per square inch, or 25.5 KSI. That is our answer, and our problem is complete.